Hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the pigging. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours? You get the permits? No, he did not get the no. permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me. I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Well, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. You really did your homework on this one. Now down the search area. Would make a hell of a find. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. Stranger things I've collected along the years. Yeah. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. Business. See ya. Hey, Nate. Are you coming down to eat? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, bring it. Oh, no, no. I'm out of ammo. Ha <laughs> ha. Still got it. Well, playtime's over. to go on another vacation. It's been too long. Uh, 
Oh, is this what you're working on? You were up there a long time. Oh, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There we go. Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Got none of that. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Kind of so, it, boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs at the second that you got off the plane. So, I'm gonna take this U-turn and turn this L-turn. Oh. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in... Here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Flights in Bangkok that um, are having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. Wow. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't but seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. No, stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? 
Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning, all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Yeah, press X to jump. Got it. You'll want to jump over all the pits and the obstacles. Come on, that's like my thing. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Good, good. There you go. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. It looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. When is a fox smash? Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. It did probably hurt. So, why do you keep playing this? Because I'm really great at it. I don't know why people get into video games. seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but... Oh! What happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Last life. You gotta make it count. Oh, I so got this. Okay, you got it. There you go. Use your spin attack. Watch that pit. Watch it. I watched it. Oh, these graphics are pretty good. Aren't they? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh. oh. You gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier no, on No, just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning What are you gonna do? I'm warning In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me, what can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. 
about your height, a little bit leaner, definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it... All confirmed you were dead. Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He said, Sam, I. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? I need some air. You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey? Have a seat. Okay. I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this, okay. I open it up, right? right? And there's no body, but the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and, uh... We made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but, um... Uh, last year, he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. Girls, they're singing. Uh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives, their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. 
We have ambition. Oh. And when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... ...become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. Mm. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmenta aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, señor. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Pedazo de mierda. Comandé a la puerta. Nunca saldrás de silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it? Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector, you do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Stay close, Sammy.
Estamos bien. Samuel, take cover. Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Next for Samuel Drake. Huh? Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? Do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid... Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take. Hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is. I'm having all of these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. To you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a Three months. Half the treasure. 
Can you do it? Say it. Three months have the treasure. Now, if you run, or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. Now, the nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. It's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it. Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. Buena suerte, Samuel. So, Alcazar lets me go, and... Here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi Estate? Oh, well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And <clears throat> where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, oh, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh, I don't know, like, uh, Jeez. anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. <sighs> hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. 